Fuck with these niggas. I smoke at the pack of the niggas. Okay. Bring out them rats on the niggas. Okay. The shorty be shooting the niggas. The shorty don't fuck with these niggas. I run my stack up on the niggas. Okay. Hey guys, it's your boy SS here and I'm coming at y'all with a fucking banger, man. I'm coming at y'all with the first time I ever smoked weed. But before I get into it, man, HBO special. Help a brother out. Y'all have been going absolutely crazy on the channel recently. And so for that, I'm giving y'all a motherfucking back-to-back -back upload just because I appreciate y'all, man. Y'all been making my day with how much I've been blowing up the last upload. I appreciate every single one of y'all. One of y'all. Hey. Hey, man, y'all making this shit really, 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 really nice, man. Hey, that's all I'm gonna say. So, let's get into today's story, my first time smoking weed. This story is honestly an absolute banger. And the only reason I'm telling it is, one, A, everybody has their first time smoking weed story. I mean, A. But also, the person who had this story with me actually talked recently, and he actually reminded me of some details I genuinely forgot about. Like I said in the last video, man, I'd be fucked up, okay? I'd be fucked up. And this is one of those stories. So, without any further ado, let's get into today's story, ladies and gentlemen. So, this story takes place around, hmm, I'm 19 now. So, this story takes place around six years ago now, because I was 13 at the time, okay? And this story takes place with my boy Justin, okay? And my boy Justin is my brother's best friend. I love Justin, man. I, dude, Justin is my brother's best friend, and he is an absolute trooper. I said in um, the buying the dab cart story two stories ago. Dude, Justin, he's the absolute homie. Like, he can hang, you know. He's funny as fuck to smoke with. Like, you know, you're gonna see today. But this homie, man, I always love doing any drug with him, man. I love just hanging out with him, man. I would hang out with him more, but dude, he lives two hours away, you know, like, hey, hey, hey. But the only reason I say all that, man, is this was our first time smoking weed together, man. Dude, we were hyping this up so fucking much. Like, you're gonna see why, because the, the reason I say that is... Dude, uh, okay, okay. So, at the time, I did not have a plug, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, I did not have a plug. I mean, who the fuck gonna serve a 13-year-old? And let's be real. How the fuck a 13-year-old gonna have a consistent plug? Let's be real now. Unless you motherfucking, unless you motherfucking Kodak Black and you were in the trenches when you were 12, 13, I get it. Hey, hey, I get it. You know, you, you, you a consistent cussy with the plug. But me, you know me, hey, I'm not shopping with the plug at 13. I don't even got enough money to fucking buy myself the Nike Elite socks I wanted, you know what I'm saying? Like, Money was tight back in the days, okay? So, you know, we planned this out so fucking well because we knew at the time my parents were actually going to go out of town for two weeks, man. And, dude, I never smoked weed. So, as soon as I heard that, man, dude, we kept motherfucking letting vacations come by and pass. Like, my parents would go on vacation. We wouldn't smoke weed. It would come by and pass. So, this is like the third time. So, this time I said we have to automatically plan it. So, I gave him $10. He had $10. We threw down a 20 for his dad, man. And like I said in the story... Two stories ago, man. His dad was the plug. He was the plug, plug, plug. But this is before I even knew that. I just knew, like, he would sell us a little bit of weed. I didn't know he was, like, you know, the plug. Like, you know, there's being the plug and there's being the plug. You know what I'm saying, ladies and gentlemen? The plug. So, you know what? He buys that 20, and I tell him, hey, man, two weeks from now, save that weed. Don't smoke it. You know what I'm saying? Hey, hey, we, we, be, we better smoke that shit. And honestly, I was genuinely afraid because I knew at that time, Dustin's brother started smoking weed recently, and this dude was a fucking asshole when it came to smoking weed. Like, he'd be the type of guy to go in your stash, smoke your shake, and he'd be like, oh, oh that, that wasn't me. Like, you know, his dad genuinely beat his ass because he caught uh, Justin's brother stealing his weed, you know. Hey, this goes to show you, don't steal a motherfucker weed, you get your ass beat, even if they're your motherfucking dad. But, you know, the week comes up, man, and I ask him, hey, man, you still got the weed? He says, he says, yes. I'm like, perfect, bro. I'm so hyped up, man. I'm genuinely so, so hyped up. And before I get into it, dude, I have an addictive-ass personality. So, dude, before I get into this, dude, I actually, I didn't think I was going to get addicted to weed. But also, I thought about it. I was like, bro, dude, weed always looks so cool. And I always saw my boy Justin and Jonathan smoking it. So, I ain't going to lie. I had, it's fucked up, and I said it a few stories ago, but... I had it in the back of my head, hey, this shit could get addicting real quick, man. Like, weed is weed, motherfucker. Like, I get it, but dude, this shit can get addicting real, real, real quick. So, you know, the day comes by, right? And my parents end up flying out, right? 
And I'm only going to tell you this because I thought this was pretty funny. So whenever my parents would fly out, they would tell us exactly when they would fly out. So my brother used to call it the uh, grace period, right? Well, my brother, he would invite his girlfriend over, right? And he would fuck because back in the days, our parents would buy us iPhones. But the only problem with that is they would FaceTime us all the time. And they'd be like, all right, show me around the house and shit. So the motherfuckers, dude, hey, you couldn't do a lot under their nose. Because if you try to hide anything, they'd be like, hey, why are you being suspicious? Like, you know, why are you being this? Why are you being that? Like, any 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 small alarms, they would, you know, trigger them shits. So, you know, the grace period came by. My brother invited his girlfriend over. He said, hey, Nathan, get the fuck out. He said, ex let's see. Get the hell out of here. I'm going to get some pussy. So I go into my boy's Caleb's house, you know. I'm making out my boy Caleb. I tell him the vibe. I'm like, hey, man, I'm going to smoke weed for the first time. You know, I'm really excited. And at this time, dude, me, Caleb, dude, we genuinely weren't really close friends at the time. Like like I said, I'm Caleb was my first neighborhood friend. We've been friends for so many years. But this is when, like, genuinely me and him first started becoming friends, friends. Don't get me wrong. Like, we weren't, like, best, best buddies. But, you know, he was still a good friend. We were talking about shit. Like, like if I broke up with a bitch, you know, I'll tell him. But I wouldn't tell him the exact details, you know what I'm saying? So I'm just like, hey, man, I'm about to smoke weed today. You know, I'm so hyped up. You never, ever smoked weed. And he's like, hey, man, you know, I had a contact high before. You know, that shit's pretty lit, man. Like, you know, don't get too high now. Goddamn. And he's like, hey, man, don't get too high now. You know, like I'm saying, whenever I smoke first smoked weed, man, I people say you don't get high your first time, man. But, you know, I got fucking stoned my first time. And I'm not going to lie. My first time smoking weed, I didn't get high. People always say, oh, you did it in hell, right? This isn't that. Bro, I had someone pre-Romeo pre blunt. I inhaled it, like, straight up, and I didn't even get high. So, honestly, I attested that. I didn't get high my first time smoking weed. Is So, that's why we're making this video today. Man, I keep burping. That's all I'm making before I eat these. So, you know, I can attest to that, man. I didn't get high my first time smoking weed. So, you know, the grace period goes by, you know, Justin comes over, man. And when Justin comes over, man, I already know it's going to be a fucking absolute banger. But, like, everybody with their first time smoking weed, man, we were so hyped to smoke weed. We didn't even know we were going to smoke weed out of I mean... Think about it, bro. Like, we were just buying all the weed. We had the day set up, but we didn't even know what the fuck we were going to smoke out of. You feel me? So, we're like, hey, what the fuck's the easiest thing to smoke out of? So, we just, hey, type it up on YouTube. How to make something to smoke weed out of real easy. And at first, we saw the cans. I'm not the cans. We saw the water bottles. Damn, I spoiled it. We saw the water bottles. We realized we needed a toke. So, we didn't have a toke. We saw some glass pieces, but, you know, we didn't have any glass pieces. So, hey, the can was the deal. And so... I'm going to throw something very nostalgic in. My first, 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 first time I ever smoked my first smoking weed was out of a Sprite can. I don't know why, but that's so, so nostalgic. Every time I see a Sprite can, I think it's the first time I ever smoked weed. I, I don't know why. But, you know, we get the Sprite can going. And for some reason, ever since the first time I made a Sprite can, you know, pipe, I was always a pro at it. This one was honestly really, really good. I don't know what it was with my ingenuity, but... I just thought in my head, hey, man, the more smaller holes, the better. I mean, think about it. Like, the weed won't fall in. And then he was like, hey, man, you need a carp hole. And I was like, a carp pool? He's like, a carp pool. He's like, a carp pool? He's like, I know a carp pool. He's like, what's that? He's like, just watch. He just pokes the hole in his head of the bitch. I'm like, dude, what the fuck you doing? He's like, yo, dude, just watch. So he's like, hey, man, dealers first. And at the time, me and him just start busting out laughing. Because he's like, hey, man, dealers first, man. Whoever splits the weed first, they smoke first, man. Hey, hey, let's get into it. So, you know... At the time, man, I'm not going to lie. I was an absolute fucking beta when it came to smoking weed. And Justin, don't get me wrong, Justin smoked weed before, but I could tell he was the type of guy, like, the bull would get passed around him, he would hit it and knock out because he didn't even know what he was doing himself. Like, don't get me wrong, I know he could hang, but he didn't even know what he was doing himself. So he literally just rips one of the buds in half and just puts it straight on the uh, can. Doesn't break it down, none of that. Just straight on the fucking can smacks, you know what I'm saying? So he hits it, right? And he looks at he looks at me, right? He points at the carp hole. He takes his hand off the carpool, right? And I realize the smoke goes through, and I'm like, oh, my God, that's so, so smart. I'm like, holy shit. And honestly, like, I thought, I, I was like, I was mind-blown, I'm not going to lie. But then I was like, hey, man, it makes perfect sense. Like, you know, it's, it should be common sense, but it's one of those things. Common sense ain't common, ladies and gentlemen. So he passes it to me, and he gives me a green-ass hit, which I do appreciate from Dustin. So this is my first time ever hitting weed. I'm in my backyard. It's around 6 p.m.-ish, 7 p.m.-ish, so it's pretty dark because it's a North Carolina winter. I'm in my backyard. It's pretty cool. We're sitting. I get the Sprite can. I hold it up to my mouth. I, I spark the lighter, and I just hit it. And whenever I hit it, I just get the taste of, uh, what's a, what's a good analogy? I taste fucking shit because obviously the can is, by the way, don't smoke out of a can. Like, if, if, if. You, if you could smoke anything out of anything, like, if you don't have weed, at least make a water bottle bowl, like, you know what I'm saying? Get, get some aluminum, ladies and gentlemen, you know, it's better than a can, you know what I'm saying? It's not better, I mean, it's not better than, you know, a glass or something, but it's better than the can. But when I hit it, man, I taste shit, but then I taste the weed. But the thing with the weed, right, is it had a very, very minty taste, like, not in a bad way. Usually I say that's a bad thing, 
but it had a very, very minty taste because the weed honestly also was very, very green. Like, this is at the time where the East Coast had a lot of green ass weed. Like, y'all know what I'm talking about, man. Back in the days, the East Coast had a lot of, a lot of green ass weed. Now we're getting that exotic, you know, we're getting that Cali by the big bag bullshit, you know what I'm saying? I'm not saying bullshit, but you know, hey. So we get down here, you know what I'm saying? That's, that's, I want some of that medical, you know what I'm saying? I want some of that good medical. Fuck that Cali big bag bullshit for real. But you know, I hit this shit, and whenever I inhale it, man, I hold it. I hold it pretty, pretty long. And I exhale it, and I'm like, wow. Wow, my cat just walked into the room. Hey, man, if y'all hear some weird noise, my cat, man, he just had an injury, and we just healed it up. So, you know, he's still recovering. Who's a good boy? Good boy, cat. So, you know, I exhale it, and I'm just like, wow, man, this is this is something, man. This is just quite amazing, man. I don't know what it was, but right when I hit it at that very moment, it hit me instantly. Like, my first time smoking weed, like I said, I didn't even really get high, but... Right when I hit this man, I was like, holy moly. Like, I remember my whole perception changed. Like, it was that whole meme of Arthur hitting the fucking thing, you know what I'm saying? Hey, I sat there and I was like, holy shit. So pass it back to Justin, man. And we're just we're just back there hitting it, having a good ass time, you know what I'm saying? We're passing it back and forth. You know, we're just really, really talking, having a good ass time. And the reason I knew it was high, and this this is one of the main reasons I knew when I first started smoking if I got high or not, is I forgot I was smoking. Like, I don't know what it was, but whenever I was hitting the bowl... Now, ooh, whenever I was hitting the bowl, not bowl, not bowl, whenever I was hitting the can, I would forget I was hitting the can sometimes, like, I'd be like, oh shit, I'm high as fuck, like, you know what I'm saying, one of those kind of things, but you know, we're out there, and we're just getting high as hell, we just start getting giggly, we start getting laughy, we start getting funny as hell, so we head inside, you know what I'm saying, because we got the munchies, like, we didn't realize it, but we had the munchies, so whenever we go inside, we, we forgot we even had the munchies. I remember, right, right when we stepped inside, we saw YouTube pulled up, right? And that instantly broke our munchies. Like, just seeing YouTube was like, hey, man, let's watch some shit. So we go on YouTube, right? And I recommended was those King Batch Smack Can compilations. And if you were on Vine in their uh, peak, peak, peak days, man, you know exactly what I'm talking about, man. King Batch, man, uh, pa uh, Max Jr., man, Jerry Pert drink, all of them, man. Dude, they're Smack Cams. They would smack each other with, you know, eggs, dude, shame and cream. I mean, that shit was fucking lit. So right now we're just watching the shame. We start... Busting out fucking laughing. And the thing is, right, we're being so loud that my brother literally has to go, hey, y'all are being fucking loud. Like, chill the fuck out. Like, I don't know why he's being such a prude. And we're like, hey, man, why are you being so annoying, man? He's like, I'm, bro, I'm trying to fucking sleep. We're like, dude, it's only seven. He's like, hey, man, I don't care. And we're like, damn, bro, like, what a vibe killer. So we go into the kitchen, right? And we're like, hey, man, what should we eat? And the thing is, man, we were so fucking stoned, man. I don't think you understand how stoned we were that we forgot we even had leftovers. Like, we had two types of leftovers. We had Chinese food and pizza, okay? So we go into the kitchen, right? And we see the pizza and we're like, holy moly. Like, it hits us like a brick. We're like, dude, we got to smash, man. We got to smash. So we get that pizza out. And we, we sprinkle a little bit of water in on it. We throw it in the microwave, man. Hey, hey, we could have grilled it, but we were we were hungry, ladies and gentlemen. I know we were eating it like some fucking Neanderthals, but... Dude, we were hungry, okay? We, we, we would have grilled it. I like me some crispy pizza. But, you know, we get the pizza, and we we go back, and, do, and we just start watching some, some funny videos, right? And the thing is, right, I eat my pizza, right? And this takes, like, a few bites, right? And he's watching the funny videos and shit, but as we watch the funny videos more, he starts getting more quiet. But the thing is, I don't realize it because I'm so hungry. I keep coming in and out of the kitchen to get seconds, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, you know what I'm saying? But then I look over to Justin right when I'm done, because, you know, I'm hungry, and I'm, I'm still hungry, and I'm like, man, I, fuck me. Forgot about the Chinese food, by the way. Completely forgot about it. But I look over at Justin, and he's just, he's just staring at his pizza. And I'm just like, Justin. And he just ignores me. And I'm like, Justin. He's like, what, what? And I'm like, Justin, what, the, what, what? are you going to eat the pizza? He's like, yeah, man, just, just give me a minute. I'm going to eat it in a minute. He's like, dude, you've been staring at it for like 10 minutes, man. I'm on my, like my sixth plate, and you're still staring at it. He's like, dude, don't rush me. I'm going to eat it eventually. And I'm like, dude, you're just being wasteful. He's like, hey, man, just, just leave me alone. I'm going to eat it eventually. So I go back into the kitchen, man, and I, and I scrounge some up. You know, I'm full hyena savage. You know, I'm full scavenger status. You know what I'm saying? Sorry, I'm so burpy, man. I ate some bullshit before I made this. But, you know, I'm full scavenger hyena status, and I find the Chinese food. And the thing with this Chinese food is, don't get me wrong, it was some, you know, diarrhea 1000, but, dude, hey, it sufficed. So I get this Chinese food out. I start warming it up, dude. Some shrimp lo mein. Hey, I bust this shit down, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, this shit gets absolutely demolished, right? I remember I demolished it so good. I remember it was that meme where it's like, hey man, was the food good? I mean, dude, I, I I ate it so good that the I took a bite off the fork. I took a bite off the plate. You know, it, it was that good. And once again, I look over to Justin, dude, and he is knocked out because I was so high and so focused on just scrounging a meal that I look over at Justin, he's knocked out. So you know, my my ex Leslie's like, hey, hey, I got an idea. I gotta reach over to the pizza, right? 
And right when I reach over to it, like, right when I reach over to it, he wakes up and he's like, dude, what did I say? And I'm like, Justin, you're fucking sleeping. He's like, dude, I said I was going to eat it in a minute and I'll leave it alone. And I'm like, bro, what? He's like, dude, chill. And I'm like, all right, bro, whatever. So I go back into the kitchen, man. I make a bowl of cereal. And before y'all go in the comments and be like, dude, you're eating a lot of bullshit. Dude, it was beginner munchies, man. And plus, you're talking to someone who has a really, really high-ass metabolism. So you know me, dude? I'll put some fucking food down. So I get that bowl of cereal out, and I smack it down in the kitchen because I was like, you know what? Hey, I'm going to let Justin chill out, you know? I was watching a video on my phone. I don't remember the exact video what it was because I was honestly getting pretty, pretty tired. I was getting pretty, pretty smacked, and I was getting pretty into my food coma, right? So I go back into the game room, and I realize Justin's absolutely knocked out. Like earlier, I kind of waited kind of short, but at this point, man, his mouth's so open he could catch flies. So I look at him. I grab the pizza real fast, and he doesn't look. I'm like, fuck, yeah. That pizza was cold, but hey. I eat that bitch real quick, so quick, dude. Hey, almost ate my finger in the process. Like, genuinely, I almost bit my finger. Like, fat ass shit. I don't care what you say. But, you know, I end up getting that motherfucking pizza done. And I'm like, hey, what should I do now to enjoy my high? And I'm like, oh, dude, I got an idea. Let's watch some motherfucking X Code. Eh? And before y'all say, hey, man, you're making an X Code type video. Hey, how the cookie crumbles. So I start watching some X Code, right? And I'm like, hey, man, I got to get comfortable on the couch and shit. So I get comfortable on a downstairs couch. And I know how everybody in their house has that one couch that's just decorative that you just never sleep on. Like, it just sits in the corner in the house and you look at it. And every time you just sit on it or even breathe on it, your mom yells at you. That's what this couch was. And like I said, they were out of town. So you know what I do? I lay on this bitch and start watching that video. And I'm not going to lie. I end up dozing the fuck off. I end up dozing off real good. I have a good weed nap. But this is not where the story ends. Well, we're getting close to it. But this is not where the story ends. I woke up in the middle of the night, man. And this was honestly my first experience of uh, weed thirst. I don't know what you want to put it. Cotton mouth. Damn, man. I'm I'm high as hell. I called it weed thirst. I meant cotton mouth. Well, this is my first experience of cotton mouth. Because I'm not going to lie. I ate all that shit. And I didn't really drink no water. Like, dude, you think I thought about that shit? Fuck no. I was taking my sprout and that shit down. So I wake up in the middle of the night and I'm like, huh, 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 what the fuck? And I get to the kitchen, right? And I just grab the gallon. I'm not going to lie. And I'm sorry, mom. You know, mom don't watch the videos, but I'm sorry, mom. I get the gallon, man. And I honestly, I start smacking the gallon. And I'm not going to lie. I drink like half the gallon. Like, I drink it to the point I'm nauseated. But I don't feel nauseated at that point. So I drink that whole gallon, right? And I go to fuck asleep like it was nothing. I wake up like two hours later. And I have the most worst stomach pain ever, right? I go to piss and I have that two-minute piss. Hey, y'all know what I'm talking about with that two-minute piss. But if y'all thought this story was a fucking banger, man, leave a like, comment, subscribe, man. This story was a fucking banger to tell y'all, man. My first time smoking weed and getting high was pretty fun. Now leave a comment about yours, man. I appreciate the love on the last story, man. So like I said, man, I'm really, really grateful. So I'm dropping this for y'all just to go to show y'all I'm that grateful. This was a banger to tell, man. Peace, boys, ex Signing out.